Hi, for this video what I want to do is talk to you about a common word problem that we encounter um, in algebra. A farmer wants to maximize the area enclosed by a rectangular fence. He has 2,500 yards of fencing available for the fence and we want to look at what is the maximum area he can enclose and what are the dimensions of the fence. Okay, so with this what we have is you have to just um, know the basics of area and perimeter to solve this problem. So what we have is we have a rectangular fence that we are trying to enclose. Um, we have our length and we have our width. You can use whatever variables you want for this. You don't have to use L and W, it's kind of up to you. Um, because typically with the formula we use L and W, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. And then the first thing that we wanna talk about is the perimeter because our fence is going to go around um, the area of the field. So the perimeter is going to be the fence. So we would have two length plus two W is what we would use for the perimeter, okay? It tells us in the problem that there are, um, that he has 2,500 yards available. So our perimeter is going to be two times L plus two times W. And remember, we don't know what the length and the width are. That's what we're trying to find. That's what they mean when we're finding the dimensions. The dimensions are what are the length and the width of this rectangle, okay? So what we are going to do, because we have really a system of two equations, there's two unknowns that we don't know. We don't know the length and we don't know the width. What I'm gonna do with this first equation is solve for one of my variables. It really doesn't matter which one you solve for, but I'm gonna go ahead and solve for L. Okay, so if I solve for L, basically since all of them are even, I could divide everything by two or I could move the two W first, it really doesn't matter. So the first thing that I wanna do to get L by itself is I'm gonna divide everything in my problem by two. Okay, when I do that, 2,500 divided by two gives me 1,250. My twos cancel out and I have length plus my twos cancel out and we have the width. So the length plus the width is going to give me 1250. So if I solve for L, basically I'm solving a literal equation for L, we can say that the length is equal to 1250 minus the width, okay? So now we have some information about one of our variables. That way when we find our area, because remember, the area of our rectangle is always found by taking the length times the width. And so for this, what we have is we have two variables again. So the purpose of solving for the length here is that now I can take and I can replace L in this equation by what it equals. So instead of writing L, I can write that it's 1,250 minus W. And what we have is if you want to write it, this may confuse some of you, but I'm just writing an area as a function of the width because that way I only have one variable. That way, um, once we find what W is, we can find the area when the width is that value. So if I plug this in, I would say that the area as a function of width, so I just put it as a function. You don't have to do that if that confuses you. It's just another way of writing it. It means the same thing. Okay, times W. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take and we're gonna distribute this W into our equation. And so we can say that area as a function of the width is equal to 1,250W minus W squared. So what we have now is we have a quadratic equation that's modeling our area. So in essence, what we are going to do, if I just draw a quick sketch of what this would look like, Okay, this is not drawn to scale or anything like this. Basically what's going to happen is because area, this is going to be my area over here. And this is my width down here. So we just made area as a function of width. So what we have is we have, because it's a W squared, we have a quadratic function. And so we can easily find our maximum area because remember our maximum area is always the vertex. So the max area is the vertex of this quadratic equation, okay? So that's why we did this. We wanted it so that we had as one variable so that we could write area as a fun function of one 
variable term. And then we can find the maximum area by finding the vertex. And if you recall, the vertex is always at negative b over 2a, comma, whatever your function is. In this case, we would say a negative b over 2a. So it's just the y coordinate. In this case, our x coordinate would be the width, and our y coordinate would be the area. Okay, so in order to do this, the negative b over 2a, what we want to do is write this in standard form. So we would take a, the area as a function of width is equal to neb, negative w squared plus 1,250w. Okay, the only reason I rewrote this is so that we can easily see that this is my a term and this is my b term, so we can find our width of our maximum point up here. Okay, so my B term would be 1250, so I would have negative 1250 divided by 2 times my A term, okay, which ends up giving me 625 yards. So in order to maximize the area, the width needs to be 625 yards. So now what we can do is we can find area when the width is 625 yards. Okay, so what we would do is we would plug this in and we would do negative 625 squared. Make sure that you realize that the negative is on the outside because if you put this into your calculator incorrectly, it will give you the wrong answer. Okay, so plus 1250 times 625 and this will give us our maximum area. So once we solve this, we see that our maximum area is 390,625 square yards. Okay, so the first thing that they asked us to find back up here, I know I've done a lot of work, this is a long process. The maximum area he can enclose is going to be the 600, or sorry, the 390,625. Okay, so the maximum area he can enclose, or the farmer can enclose, is 390,625 square yards. Okay. The other thing that it asked us for was the dimensions. Well, we already know that our width right here is 625. So we have to find our length to get the dimensions. So we need to know what is our length. And remember that we have this equation here that length is equal to 1250 minus W, or we have that the area is equal to the length times the width. So you have two options. You can either find length by doing the area that we just found divided by w, or we can just plug it into this equation. I'm gonna plug it into this equation right here. And I'm gonna say that the length is equal to 1250 minus 625. And we can actually see that this gives us 625 yards also. So if you notice from this, Whenever you have, or whenever you are looking for the maximum area, the maximum area of a rectangle is always going to be when it is a square. So if the length and the width are both equal, then that will always give you the maximum area. I know I probably could have told you that to start with and it would have um, made the process a lot shorter, but then you wouldn't realize why it is the way that it is. Um, you can also, sometimes the situations are where they'll give you like the length of the barn, so it's not always going to be equal. So don't think you can always just say, oh, length and width, they're gonna be equal. That's only if all four sides are enclosed. Okay, so we could put that the maximum area he could enclose is 390,625 um, square yards when the dimensions or when the, um, yeah, the dimensions of the fence are 625 yards by 625 yards. 
So just to recap, remember that with this, it's always helpful when you have a situation like this to start with a picture of what you have and then go from there. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. And if you get a chance, please subscribe.